Good morning, everyone. Alan here, best day at MTB, and uh, today we're at 440 Bike Park here in Auckland. Now, you know I like my, uh, my experiments, and today I've got a very special experiment for you. Um, if you've been watching my videos uh, recently, you'll know that Red Bull sent me a load of cans, basically to see if Dad's army could give them wings. And so this got me thinking, is this just uh, marketing hype, or could this actually be true? So the experiment today is to see, can Red Bull give you wings? We're going to do a run down a jump track called Chinese Laundry, have a can of Red Bull, do a second run and see if we can go bigger. Now I've got some complex signature algorithms that I'm going to use to see if we can go statistically bigger. So anyway, let's do lap number one. <laughs> I've seen Brooke ride, he's the best. <laughs> Come on Zach, we'll all follow Zach. So do you guys have a huge argument over who's going to go first and who's going to follow each other? Um, we seem to do that every time. Eventually we get started. Um, I'm following uh, Brooke down this time. They're also a little bit worried about who I get to follow um, because of the curse and all that. Um, if you haven't watched my videos, for some reason if I follow somebody, they seem, they seem to have an accident. I think it's just coincidental, um, but I got, the guys are starting to think that I'm cursed, or they're cursed if they go in front of me anyway. Now when we go to Rotorua, we always start with Eagle vs Shark, and when we come to 440, we always start with Pink Stoke. Um, not only do we start with it, but sometimes we'll do four or five runs of it before we move on to anything else. I must admit, it really is a fun track, this one. Uh, fast, flowy, lots of jumps. Um, there's not much not to like about this sort of tra track. Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right, Zach, so how's the new Ibis going? I'm getting there. Getting there? Getting ready to send it? Yeah. Red Bull do the trick, you think? Yeah, definitely. I need something. Because bait that far off the ground ain't good. Look, I love the storm water grey, eh? Yeah. Or is it sewer water? Sewer water grey. Sewer water grey, it's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, Brooke, so this is the first run. I'm going to follow you down. And you're going to try and go as big as possible, okay? As big as possible, all right? <laughs> okay, here goes run number one. Right, you've got to try and go big this one. Okay, so we're starting my highly scientific study here. Um, this is um, pre a Red Bull. Um, and so the idea is we're going to go as absolutely as big as we normally would or as we can um, and so then we'll do the red ball for the second run okay there may be a few little cases there um, we might not be quite clearing them just yet Whoa. Oh. okay Brooke will go big um, yeah you cased that again so did I Alright, it'll be interesting to see that um, if the Red Bull makes any difference. Maybe not our best jumping effort so far. Now you may be wondering, as a Red Bull athlete, why I'm not wearing my Red Bull helmet? And um, for some reason it hasn't shown up yet. I'm sure it can't be far away. Um, I keep asking for it, but for some reason, um, yeah, I don't have my Red Bull helmet yet. How did that go? Terrible. You, terrible. you cased a couple of them. I think I need some Red Bull. All right, let's try the Red Bull. <laughs> okay, so we've done run number one, and now it's time to have the Red Bulls. Now, I know what you're thinking. What about the placebo effect? The guys have one of these, so they get more confidence and they go bigger. But I've emptied some of them out and I've put Ribena in them. So that's going to be our control group, okay? Um, so let's give some of these guys. Here you go, Graham. Thank you. Here's your Red Bull. Here's your Red Bull, man. Yeah, baby. All right. Full sugar, these ones. Oh, Full easy. sim. Yeah, the real McCoy. There you go. Get awesome. That, get that into you. <laughs> get that right. cracked open. Like I said. Is that okay, Brent? Does that taste all right? <laughs> it's kind of good. It's something different. It's a little bit ribenery. <laughs> It's a new prototype that Red Bull have given me to try it. It's still Red Bull, it just tastes a bit different. Oh, well, it's all good. Cheers. <laughs> So the question, Steve, uh, is yours a control group? It's quite short. It's, it's rather good, and it's cold and it's hot. I guess I guess we'll find out how big you send it. Yeah. All right, you guys, you reckon a uh, control group or uh, in full signature? Well, wow, this is the full shit. Yeah. I'm going large. Going large, eh? Large, yeah. <laughs> Definitely full send. 
you want me to follow him then? Yeah, 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 okay. you follow him. Right, and you're going to film Umpa Lumpa? Yeah, Umpa Lumpa. I'll follow you guys then. No wonder it takes us so fucking long. <laughs> it's, it's like... Let's go! Let's go. Ride your Let's go. damn bikes! Go. We're probably going to catch them in about two corners. Right then, Umpa Lumpa. Let's see if that red ball works, eh? Oh, nice! Now, you may be wondering um, why they're calling Steve Umpa Lumpa. Uh, we call Steve lots of things, but at the moment his uh, nickname seems to be Oompa Loompa. Um, earlier in the year we went on a skiing trip down to Queenstown and uh, Steve had an uh, sort of orange uh, puffer jacket uh, for skiing and to be honest he looked a bit like an Oompa Loompa. So his uh, name at the moment is Oompa Loompa. If you meet him out riding, uh, just call him Oompa Loompa. He loves it. I'm thinking uh, Steve must have got the genuine uh, Red Bull because he certainly seems to be flying along pretty well today. Are you bringing the nose manual back? Yeah, I did for that last <laughs> one. That was not going on today. Nice, mate. Woo! Nice, right. Well, hey! Getting you some of that. Do you think that's the Red Bull? I feel like I'm riding your bike. <laughs> yeah, <I'm not. laughs> Zach's like one of those uh, children who's uh, had too many sweets and has suddenly got a sugar rush, I think. Whoa, what are you doing there? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Okay guys, second run, exactly the same. Just try and repeat it and we'll see what happens. Oh shit, I'm a bit slow off the back. And then I don't need to get quite as close. Okay, so part two of our highly scientific experiment. Um, we've all had a red ball. Um, well, that's except for the uh, control group. And uh, we're gonna see how big we can go. Basically, we're gonna do exactly the same as before and see if the red ball makes any difference. I reckon we're going just marginally bigger there. It's probably statistically significant even. All right, that's definitely bigger, eh? This Red Bull Wings thing maybe have something to it, I reckon. Oh, look, even Steve's clearing the big tabletop. Bit of flare from Zach. Yeah, I think I think to be honest, uh, fairly conclusive that a Red Bull does actually give you wings. Might need to analyse it a little bit more to be sure though. What do you think of that? Got some, <laughs> yeah, got some wings that time, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, what do you think? Good, good stuff, man. Boom. Boom. Uh, boom. Boom. Well done, guys. Uh, I think we got some wings on that time. Okay, guys, so what do you reckon? Did you go bigger with the Red Bulls? Yeah, baby. Uh, I'm not sure, mate. You're not sure? All right, well, we'll check the footage, do a bit of ascendage uh, analysis, and um, I'll let you know. Okay, so let's do a little bit of signature analysis. That's Brooke, me, uh, and Zach. Um, none of us cleared the jump there. After the Red Bulls, I reckon that's definitely going bigger. Yep, we're all clearing it. Here comes Steve. Okay, look, he's hard. He's only he's casing that. That's pre-Red Bull. And post-Red Bull, much better. Look at that. Oh, he's pretty much over. We'll give him that. Graham, what the hell is Graham doing? Post Red Bull, yep, definitely got wings. The confusing bit here though, was Brent had the Ribena, and on the first run, just cases it. And on the second run, um, he actually clears it. So maybe there is a placebo effect. Okay, if you saw my last video, climbed up here on the Zero, didn't like it. So today we're back on the e-bike and it's time to be an obnoxious jerk. Come on, get out of the way, out of the way, out of the way, coming through, out of the way, out of the way. Oh. 
Oh, that is so much better. It's not really that hard, is it, guys? Just put a few pedal strokes in. Oh, hi there. Just having a little nap. Uh, got up to the top on the e-bike. Um, if you've ever wondered which is better to ride up on a normal bike and have the satisfaction of knowing you did it under your own steam or to fly up on an e-bike and then have a rest waiting for the poor old suckers to turn up on, it's better to, on the e-bike. And if you're on an e-bike, don't apologize for being on an e-bike. Just rub it in and make people feel bad for not having one. Anyway, back to my nap. Now if you follow the Dad's Army videos, um, I'm following Brent here, and normally Brent rides a trek rail um, on the e-bike, he's sort of in my camp. Um, but we're at 440, uh, I guess the bike park, you don't necessarily need an e-bike, and so Brent today is riding his uh, 29er Specialized Enduro. Um, pretty nice bit of kit this one. Now, as we're into our highly scientific experiments, we thought we might do one more experiment in a little bit for you. So, watch his uh, riding style and uh, see if it improves later in the video. Okay, so we're into experiments, and one of the big experiments is always wheel size. Is it better the big wheels or the small wheels? So, Brent's been riding his 29er all day, and now we've gone to, what is this thing, Brent? Well, it's a decade old, 2011 Santa Cruz Nomad Mark II running the ERAD 559 wheel size, otherwise known as 26. All right, well, let's go and see if this is better than a 29er. Small wheels roll forever. Oh, <laughs> oh, I've got the is that the modern geometry there, Graham? I don't think so, man. <laughs> yeah, well, this should be red stickered, I think. <laughs> okay, I'm following Brent down on his Santa Cruz Nomad. 10-year-old bike, 26-inch uh, wheels. But in the day, this was a, a, a pretty special bike. Carbon frame, uh, coil shock, XDR brakes, pretty much the nicest of everything on this bike. Short wheelbase, turn like a dream, eh? Now, I don't think Brent will ever sell this bike. It's one of those bikes he'll probably just keep forever. It was such a cool bike, and these days you'd get almost nothing for it if you sold it. I guess the question is, is it still fun to ride? Is it, uh, is it just as good as a modern geometry uh, 29 inch bike um, or you know has it had its day i guess we'll have to keep going to find out all right come on that that's a that's a the downhill bike in its day i think it probably was all mountain steep Two point six forever, eh? twenty six forever, I should say. Dave, looking good. Control, brother. All right, just don't run my bike over. <laughs> that was exactly the same as I went steep. Oh, okay, Brent. So you've done the twenty nine er enduro and the twenty six inch Nomad. Uh, which do you think is the better of the two bikes? Oh, clearly the 26 lines. And why do you think that? The smaller wheels, they just roll over stuff better. The shorter reach, you don't know whether you're over the back of the bike or the front of the bike. <laughs> Steeper angles make it way more sketchy. It sound, sounds like the 26 is a, it's a conclusive one then, eh? Brent, whatever the bike you've got, sell them. <laughs> just keep the 26 yeah. it. Oh, Alright, so all you fools out there with 29ers, uh, go back to the 26. I hope you enjoyed our highly scientific uh, mountain biking experiments today. Um, if you disagree by any chance with some of our findings, feel free to let me know in the comments, although you can't really argue with science, can you? Just following Graham down, one last run of Chinese laundry. I don't know how many runs we do in a day, um, but this is just too much fun. And um, anyway, this is pretty much, I guess, the last run of the day. That was a nice way to finish the day. Yeah. Great, man. Yeah. Good run. Good, good guys. Good stress, mates.
All right, another great day here at 440. I think we proved that Red Bull does give you wings. We also showed that 26 inch wheels are better than 29. Um, and we've had an epic day. So if you enjoyed the video, lovely to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.